Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. Let's talk about HOAs today, homeowners associations. I've had a, a heck of a run with my neighborhood in the past year or so, give or take. It all started, well, little background. We've lived in the same neighborhood for about 15 years, give or take. First neighborhood we've had that uh, had an HOA. We built our house, bought our house in this neighborhood because it had an HOA, believing that it's a good thing. Well, there's definitely some positives to it, and there's a lot of negatives to it. So, so the last year, my son has gotten into motocross. He loves dirt bike motorcycles. I had a motorsports career spanning 20 years in which I retired from about six years ago. Motorsports is in my veins. It's in his veins. And he's, he begged me for a dirt bike motorcycle for about a year before I bought one about two years ago. Well, we live on about three acres and he started riding it around the, the yard. Okay. Which rational people would, uh, they could see that. Well, lo and behold, there's a, a good amount of neighbors around us that uh, didn't see it the same way. I get it. I can see their perspective. But the way it was handled wasn't necessarily face-to-face. -face. As you can uh, guess, a lot of my neighbors went to the HOA to voice their concern in the form of emails, phone calls, all to the president of the HOA. Well, I understand his position, uh, the president is who I'm talking about, because I was the president of the HOA 10 years ago, and I was educated on how HOAs operate uh, very quickly. And I stepped down from that position and <laughs> didn't participate afterwards. So. A lot of people complaining about their neighbors, not doing it the right way. If you've got a problem with your neighbor, walk up to them and say, hey, can we change this and that and let's compromise, right? Most people will do that. But the problem with HOAs is that it gives your neighbor, who is territorial, an opportunity to complain to someone else and someone else can do their dirty work. That's essentially what HOAs are. If you if you live in an HOA and you had a good experience with them, good for you. But the vast majority of people uh, have experienced what I've experienced. Uh, what does an HOA do? The purpose of an HOA is to preserve the value of your property and your home. That's what it's designed to do but it's not reality. What an HOA actually does it, is it gives a person a way to complain about their neighbor indirectly. That's what HOAs do in reality. It's unfortunate, but it is human nature as I have learned the hard way personally. Like I said, if you've had a positive interaction with your HOA, good for you, but you're in the minority from the people that I've talked, talked to about this, because I have definitely not seen the positive in my personal situation. The problem really lies with the, the HOA board. Okay. So who are the board? Who are the people that actually volunteer for these positions? I was one of them right here. I was president. I was vice president. Those kind of people want to do the right thing, typically. Unfortunately, most of the neighborhood could care less, usually, about the HOA. So the people that actually go to the meetings, they're really the last people standing and basically get forced into these positions most of the time. Some people want to do it. Most people don't. And they're doing it to be neighborly, to do the right thing, to be a good person. And... They quickly realize that that's not necessarily what the job entails. <laughs> I learned that the current HOA president has learned that and God help us all. <laughs> it's 
So that's usually what happens. And folks, when it comes to grievances with your neighbor, if you've got problems with them and it's egregious, for instance, the noise of a dirt bike. All right. Well, if you complain to the HOA, the HOA tries to be a mediator. All it's going to do is piss everyone off, period. That's what it's going to do. Because ultimately, when it comes down to the law, we've talked to attorneys regarding this situation in our, our personal situation. And multiple attorneys have told us that HOAs do not hold up in court when it comes to these kind of grievances and problems. They basically just get thrown out because there's actually real criminals out there doing real crimes. So they typically just get thrown out. It's moot is what it is. Uh, but uh, HOAs suck. They just do. They just suck. Uh, mainly because people are just territorial with their stuff. And I get it. Especially if you've lived there for a long time. You you own it. Uh, that's where you live. Eat, sleep, love, raise a family. You're going to protect what you have. What an HOA ends up being is a third party in a dispute, making them do the dirty work of someone that's basically afraid to knock on someone's door. That's that's what they what it ends up being. Surefire way of pissing your neighbor off. Okay. Especially if you don't have the balls to walk up to somebody. If you have a problem with somebody, walk up to them, say, hey, let's work this out. Let's compromise like adults and move on. You know, with an HOA in place. It gives somebody that's probably a little bit anxious, a little bit nervous about things, uh, uh, an excuse to get somebody else involved. Uh, and I have zero respect for it. So if you've got a problem with your neighbor, walk up to them and say, hey, let's work it out. If not, you get somebody else involved, you're automatically going to piss them off, period. It's just what's going to happen. If there's one golden rule that we can talk about when it comes to your neighbors, don't mess with me. I won't mess with you. That's basically how it goes. If you've got a problem with somebody, walk up to them, shake hands, compromise, and you walk away friends. You get an HOA involved, you are automatically going to piss multiple people off, uh, not to mention other neighbors around you if you get the entire neighborhood involved in your dispute. Personally, if I ever move or build a house again, I will not build an HOA. I'll take my chances with my neighbors uh, cause at that point we will probably work things out if we have disputes, if not, it's all good. Uh, people can hate me. It's, it's fine. You can't make everyone happy, but I'll never build a house in an HOA again. Just personally, just, uh, just personally speaking. So there you have it. If you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps me out for those who have subscribed already. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it until next time. Be better than you were yesterday. Be desirable.